Hi viewers, today we will discuss two important types of cellular adaptations, hypertrophy and atrophy. Hypertrophy is an increase in the size of parenchymal cells, resulting in enlargement of organ or tissues without any changes in number of cells. Increased workload leads to increased protein synthesis, increased size and number of intracellular organelles, which in turn leads to increase in cell size. The increased cell size leads to increased size of organ. If we talk about the mechanism of hypertrophy, hypertrophy is the result of increased production of cellular proteins. Hypertrophy can be induced by linked action of mechanical sensors that are triggered by increased workload. Growth factors such as tissue growth factor beta and fibroblast growth factors and vasoactive agents such as alpha-adrenergic agonists. Hypertrophy may be physiological or pathological. In both cases, it is caused by increased functional demand. The striated muscle cells in heart and skeletal muscles have only a limited capacity of division and respond to increased metabolic demand, mainly by undergoing hypertrophy. The most common stimulus for hypertrophy of muscle is increased workload. Enlarged size of uterus in pregnancy is an excellent example of physiological hypertrophy. Hypertrophy of cardiac muscles that may occur in number of cardiovascular diseases is a best example of pathological hypertrophy. Atrophy is a reduced size of tissue or organ resulting from decrease in cell size and number of specific organ or tissue which was once normal. Atrophy result from decreased protein synthesis and increased protein degradation in cells. Protein synthesis decrease because of reduced metabolic activity. The degradation of cellular protein occurs mainly by ubiquitin proteosome pathway. Nutrient deficiency and disuse may activate protein ubiquitin liagus, which attach the small peptide ubiquitin to cellular proteins and target these proteins for degradation in proteosomes. Proteusums basically destroy or degrade unneeded or damaged proteins by a process called proteolysis. A trophy can be physiological or pathological. Pathological atrophy is common during normal development, which could be due to loss of endocrine stimulation or atherosclerosis. For examples, atrophy of gonads after menopause and atrophy of brain with aging. Pathological atrophy depends on underlying causes and can be local or generalized, which includes starvation atrophy, ischemic atrophy, disuse atrophy, endocrine atrophy. So, that's all about hypertrophy and atrophy. Hope you like this video. Suggest the topic in comment section below on which you want me to make my next video. And also subscribe to my channel, PharmacyD, for more cool content about pathology and medicine. Thank you.